Someone said, Daddy Cornstar, there's never a dull moment around you. You have such an exciting life. That's right, I do have an exciting life. And you know what? You can... I almost had a life that flashed between me. I think somebody forgot to put the jack away. But anybody can have an exciting life. It's how you go out there every morning when you go out around people. If you have a big smile on your face, how you approach people, just walking by them smiling and you know, sometimes, hi, how are you? It just, you, anybody can have an exciting life. So try it, it's fun. I, uh, been around a lot of people in my life, probably not as lot as some of you have, but you know, when you get around somebody that, and you look at them and they don't, I know Mama Cornstar always says, when we go places, she goes, everybody seems like they talk to you. And that's why Mama Cornstar, I'm always the last one done eating. She says I eat slow, but I put food in my mouth, I chew it up the 36 times, I swallow, take a glass of water, and then I talk for about five minutes, and then I go for the next bite. Uh, that's probably why, because I talk too much. You guys will have to keep your eyes on this video, Cole's videos for sure. Can't tell you yet what's gonna take place with this tractor right here, but you're gonna see some pretty big changes, let's just say, with this tractor, and it's gonna be really, really cool. So keep your eyes open. It might be a month and a half yet, roughly. So then we're gonna see some big changes. Oh, I was reading one comment here, and this is a comment I hear a lot, and I'm not trying to bash anybody or anything like that. I'm just trying to make us think. And like I said, I've had things said to me or my boys said things to me that sometimes, yeah, it hurts for a little bit. It's like, oh, and kind of upset you. But that's how we learn what our kids are thinking or what the people around us are thinking. And it makes us try to be that better person. But one of the people said, your dad sounds cool. My old man, flies off the handle at everything and makes us kids be real scared to do anything. We all overthink every situation, meaning they're on edge so much. Like this tractor here, they accidentally bump into the wall. It was an accident. <coughs> we, they get chewed out, chewed out, chewed out. And then they go off and maybe put a wrench in the wrong spot on the bench. They get chewed out, chewed out, chewed out. Uh, I know I try really hard as my kids were growing up. I've seen that. I had some friends that their dad and them would get in fights. I kid you not, they would actually throw wrenches, yell at each other, and throw wrenches at each other, and then they'd go off just madder than the kite, and 10 minutes later they were back at it. They actually went their own ways because they could not deal with how they they just had to get away from each other. I kind of read some of these comments like that to try to make all of us think, makes me think. But like that young man there, he's wanting to be out there with dad. And it's not only dad sometimes that yell at the kids for little things, moms, grandmas, grandpas. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, there is certain things we do have to raise our voice to our kids. It happened to me too, I don't want anybody to think I didn't get yelled at. There was times I got yelled at for things I did. And you know, it's kind of how we approach the kids. But kind of have to think about that. Cause we want, like me, my kids I think are pretty excited to work with me. I'm excited to work with them. I'm excited to work with my daughter, my wife. And you know, if I was always grumpy and stuff, they're not gonna wanna be around me or vice versa at that matter. Hey everybody, what you've all been waiting for? Handballs! Yeah, we're making handballs tonight. So the first thing you need is ham loaf. Ham loaf is like half ground ham, half ground pork. So if you can buy it that way, it makes it super easy. Otherwise you can buy them separately. We're gonna have eggs, crushed graham crackers, brown sugar, tomato soup, the ground mustard, vinegar. This is a big hit at our house, so I usually make a double batch. I forgot one of the ingredients is milk. Okay, I'm gonna grind up the graham cracker crumbs. You know you're not supposed to get your wife appliances for Christmas, but this year I said, I really want a can new can opener. And they did good, and I got this new can opener, and I love it. It's so cool. 
Oh, comment, comment, comment before it comes. Somebody's probably going to ask, why is my eye red? Oh, I looked at Mama Cornstar last night and I said, you're getting on my nerves. And after she pulled her fingers out of my eyes, I'm like, why did I say that? Now, sometimes when I've been up really, really late at night, and I, I mean, so you guys notice that sometimes, but uh, I've been up really, really late doing paperwork, that kind of stuff. Sometimes my eyes get overtired. Last night, me and Cole stayed up for quite a while. We were just having fun talking. I was getting tired and uh, working in the semi last night. Working in the semi. Working in the shop last night. The semi was running. Some smoke probably got in my eyes, but it happens at times. Oh, what should we talk about today? Any thoughts? Hope everybody is in good health. Everything's going good. I know kind of looking at the weather for a lot of us around in different states, everybody's kind of ready for a warm up. Just, I don't know, winter takes its toll on everybody, everything, and the ones that are in the beautiful weather, we look up to you guys, you lucky ones. Daddy Cornstar, what would you probably be doing if you weren't a farmer? Well, I thought about that for a little bit. I got a pretty steady hand. I would probably be a surgeon, would be my guess. Because you gotta have a steady hand and know how to cut a straight line. I would probably have people calling me from all over the world. So if anybody ever needs surgery done, they want to save some money, you got the proof on the pudding right there, I know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of walking around trying to figure out what I'm going to do right now and I think I'm going to sit down here in a minute. I need to start writing up an order for filters and some parts I know that we need. Made me think the other day I was in the uh, parts store and this one guy, he was talking to the people behind the counter and he kept going, what, what, what? Well, he said he uh, forgot his hearing aids at home, so he couldn't hear very good. But anyhow, when he was getting ready to leave, he walked down by a couple guys, and he's like, man, did somebody fart? And uh, one guy said, man, you didn't hear it? And he goes, no, I didn't want my hearing aids in. Ah, uh, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> hey, babe, what you doing? Making handballs. Ooh, I just seen that. It's like, oh, is that for tonight? No, you don't get any. I just came in the house. I took a shower a little bit ago. I came upstairs. I'm in the kitchen. I don't see Mama Cornstar anywhere. But I smell some really good food. I don't know what she's cooking on top of the stove, but she's got ham meatballs in the oven. Let's take a look. that I opened up the oven. Hey, when I first met you, Mama Cornstar, I was 98 pounds, and now I'm up to 145 pounds from the good food. Hi, Mom. Thanks for making food. Uh-huh. This is why I have to make a double pan. What? I need to degrad. Why are you insulting me? Are you kidding me? What? What a pig. How many did you grab? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> well, what about... And that's just his first plate. What about, <laughs> yeah, and that's just the first plate. I don't want to mix my hand balls with my potatoes, Do you okay? need a separate plate? <laughs> Mom, I'm a growing boy. You need mm. to understand this. I'm going to be six foot four someday. He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite, Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite sandwich. I've never had Vegemite. Who's had Vegemite? I know there's Australians yeah, yeah. that watch nope, this. Nope. I got to look up and see what it is. kind of comes from spinach mite from the bottom of the sea. No, you're thinking of... Vajamita Vetamin. I'm so Oh yeah, Vajamita Vetamin. Yeah, that one. How do you know, Lucy? Well, everybody Everyone watched. knows who Vajamita Vetamin is. <laughs> oh, man. That was your grandma's favorite show. <laughs> My grandma speaks Spanish. They, they did it in Spanish? <laughs> it was in the <laughs> caption of the TV? 